Starting off with the king himself, Mr. Vivo, aged 5. Let's see how he tackles the first stage of the competition. Perfect physical specimen. It's as if he was born to compete. Definitely a favorite of the crowd. Looks at the coach and I think he's ready. Oh, I, I don't think that's legal. No, you can't move the cups. No. Nothing to worry about. I believe he's just treating this as a warm up for himself. Next up, we have contestant number two, Takashi, aged one. Let's see how he fares at the first level. And he clears it easily. Contestant number three, Bellyman, aged three. Bellyman, a bit hesitant at first glance. This is evidently his first competition. Let's see how he fares. Oh, just barely touching the cup with his foot. And our last contestant, Jazz, aged one, clears it easily. Didn't even break a sweat. Moving on to the second stage, we are starting off with Vivo once again. He sits down seems to be confused as to which direction he should be going maybe he's getting a running start no he turns to the coach yet again there you go Ooh, and he lays down knocks a couple of cups over while he's at it adding insult to injury looking a bit lethargic clearly analyzing the height of the cups maybe choosing the appropriate technique what else is there to say his inexperience is clearly showing when it comes to these types of competitions oh looks like jazz has skipped the line and we'll be having two contestants jumping at the same time let's see if this makes them perform any better and the first one fails Let's see how Jazz does. An incredible show of fair play and sportsmanship. He could have seized this opportunity for an easy win and yet he backs off. Let's see how he does as the cups are fixed. And he gets it. So far doing the best out of all four. Of course starting off round three with the amazing Vivo. We can see his far superior analytical mind working its wonders analyzing thousands of possibilities per second one might say almost like ai clearly the left side is his forte he has mastered the technique of tipping cups to perfection moving on to contestant number two takashi and looks like mr vivo has come for a second attempt. Takashi does not make it, unfortunately. Let's see what Vivo can do with his second try. Can he make it on the third stage? Oh my, what grace, what precision. This leap will be a part of sports history. And as we can see, Jazz taking advantage of this opportunity to study Vivo's technique and using it to achieve the same success. It does not seem to matter which side he chooses to attack the obstacle from. From either side he does it so smoothly. Takashi charging up. Beautiful jump, but unfortunately a heavy behind. And Bellyman has the same problem. Moving on to the youngster Jazz, our best performer so far. And he clears it with such elegance. Moving on to round number five, as usual, starting with Vivo. Vivo seems to be sticking to his favorite technique, no matter the height of the wall. So far, it's worked for him wonderfully. Takashi again, very close, but this time his long tail ends up being his downfall. Bellyman trying a new technique for the stand and jump. Unfortunately, also not working for him. 
Jazz, our leading competitor, seems to be feeling tired. Jazz, starting off round six. Round five seems to just have been a fluke. He's just cleared a wall that's three times his size. And again, Bellyman so close, it's so far away at the same time. Another epic fail. Ooh, looks like Vivo has spotted an opportunity. His intelligence seems to know no bounds. The speed at which he analyzed that situation was incredible. No hesitation at all. It looks as if Takashi will be starting us off for round 7. Great effort and a great heart as well. Unfortunately, his bottom half seems to be quite heavy. Very man taking his final jump. Unfortunately, not so lucky in today's events. Hopefully, we'll see him do better in the next competition. Round number 7 looking quite impossible for Jazz. Let me remind the audience that he is only 1 years old. And yet again, he proves that nothing is impossible for him. He hops over the wall in a brilliant display of talent. What technique will our favorite competitor be using this time? He approaches his favorite left corner. Amazing consistency. Oh, and he knocks down the cups again. Look at that precision, that grace. Surprisingly, the crowd does not appreciate that work of art. The judges will now count up all the points. Surely Vivo will get the most points for his style. Wow, what an upset. Jazz barely ekes out a victory and takes first place over Vivo.